That leaves the Grand Prix! My goodness! Oh. I do not believe it! And Raikkonen is absolutely hauling him in. And again, he goes defensive when he doesn't need to. It puts him out of shape then for the exit then, as we saw earlier on. Has he got enough traction to keep the McLaren behind him? He's really left himself to be a sitting target now. He'll have to go defensive down the inside. He'll have to go tighter than that. Oh, and they nearly touch. Can Raikkonen sweep in? Yes, yes! he can. Brilliant. What a brilliant move. Side by side down the straight. Grand Prix racing and it's absolutely absolute finest Kimi Raikkonen sweeps through to take the lead of the Japanese Grand Prix absolutely sensational Kimi Raikkonen then heading for his 10th Grand Prix victory I went as quickly as I could outside in the first corner and uh, luckily I made it through so, so it was very good it doesn't look as though there's going to be any team orders here and nor should we ever really have believed there would be. Oh, he's getting very close to Michael Schumacher, but Rubens Barrichello comes through. He's not going to let Michael through, is he? Yes, he is! No. I do not believe it! I do not! Adam and Eve, what is going on? In the interest of Ferrari and the Drivers' Championship, we've made the decision. So people would ask me, so why don't you go back to a team that you, you top? Maybe they want to give a car for me to win. Two miles of racing action all the way to the chequered flag. Where can Verstappen try and get past Hamilton? First overtaking zone is normally down in the turn five. Is Verstappen far enough back? He's going to make the lunge down the inside. Hamilton sees him coming. It's a late lunge by Verstappen who takes the lead of the race. Verstappen now snatches the championship trophy from Lewis Hamilton who's trying to fight back. Here comes Lewis Hamilton though, down the back straight. He's got a slipstream. He almost touches Verstappen. They almost make contact into turn nine. Verstappen stays ahead. Max Verstappen, for the first time ever, is champion of the world. For the second time this week at a major sports event, I'm shaking. I was in the stadium in Istanbul. I was shaking for the whole of the second half, and I'm shaking again now because this is the most fantastic finish to a Formula One race. Raikkonen is under real pressure. There it goes the tyre. Let's go. He just misses the VAR, and I said he should have pitted. I told you he would have got a podium if he pitted. Instead of which, he's going to get absolutely nothing. Ron Dennis can't believe it. The racer in Raikkonen wanted the victory. He wanted to stay out there. The common sense man said bring him in they didn't do it Alonso's going to take another 10 points out of him in the world championship you know we were very lucky today but uh, at the same point we were very strong and uh, able to push them Jensen Button driving for his life, driving for the victory. Has Vettel got what it takes to hold him off? I think Vettel's got way. Yeah, he's got way. He turned in too late. He got the tyres. Button leads the Grand Prix. Sebastian Vettel turned in with his tyres just touching the waters. The final lap of the Grand Prix. And Jensen Button, after a an awful afternoon with so many things going wrong for him. Leads this amazing Canadian Grand Prix. If you got it in your hands, then uh, and then you give it away. It's not uh, the sweetest feeling. A fantastic race, and I think even if I hadn't won today, I would have enjoyed this race immensely. But yeah, amazing win and possibly my best. Mansell, of course, won here in 1986. He's waving to the crowd. He's going to win again and he's going to beat Nelson Piquet by some 50 seconds. He's taking the hairpin very... He's stopping! Nigel Mansell, just a few hundred yards from the flag on the last lap. He's stopping, he's banging his steering wheel in frustration. Something has happened. What bitter, bitter call for Mansell. They've just brought the car back, and as often happens in motor racing, the thing fired up and all the gears are there. So some electronic problem, probably due to some type of overheating. 
on to the banking for the last time. Up to receive the cheers of this enormous crowd in Indianapolis. They go side by side across the line. Who's going to win this Grand Prix? It's a mystery. It's Michael Schumacher. I tell you, I'm well impressed with that. It's 0, .0. Barrichello has been given the win. He's first over. Schumacher was 0.0 behind, but according to the computer, Rubens Barrichello just won the Grand Prix. We have always supported each each other, and today uh, I, I thought it was a good opportunity to to go equal over the line. Uh, we tried, uh, and we failed by a little bit. Didier Pironi, who is very sensibly playing it cool, he knows he's on his last lap. Pironi, who goes into the tunnel for the last... Is that Pironi stationary? It is! My goodness! He must have run out of petrol. And that is De Cesaris's car. But De Cesaris would have taken the lead, so that means to say that Derek Daly can win this race. There is Derek Daly coasting to a standstill. This is unbelievable. Well, we've got this ridiculous situation. We're all sitting by the start-finish line, waiting for a winner to come past, and we don't seem to be getting one. And now Patrese is coming in to win, without a doubt. Ricardo Patrese comes up to the line to win his first Grand Prix. He takes the checkered flag and wins certainly the most eventful, exciting, momentous Grand Prix I have ever seen. Look at here, this is close. Hamilton got yep. a fantastic drive out of turn one. So here he goes then. Is this hammer time? Lewis Hamilton, wheel to wheel with Nico Rosberg. In towards turn two, his teammates got the inside oh, line. They They've touched again. Hamilton runs wide. And is he going to come onto the track and touch his teammate? He's now got damage. Nico Rosberg to his front wing. And Lewis Hamilton does manage to overtake his teammates. Anyone who's selling tickets for the Mercedes debrief today, I'll buy two for the front row. Hamilton wins out. Hamilton takes the Austrian Grand Prix. Berger in second place and closing. And the question really, are McLaren going to stage a formation finish here? Senna moving round to collect the chequered flag. In fact, he's not. He's let Berger through. Berger goes through to come home first. 31 Grand Prix for McLaren. That's his first win for them. The gesture from Ayrton Senna acknowledged by Gerhard Berger and by team boss Ron Dennis. We work very well together, we have respect for each other, we help each other when we need, and I think today was my turn to give a small help to him on the championship. If he can just do this last two and a half miles or so, he is going to have won this race four years in He's slowing race. down, he's slowing down, Murray. Oh, this could be absolutely fantastic. He's got to finish his last lap. Meantime, Michael Schumacher will be closing up on him as Mika Hakkinen tours, tours. Is he going to stop? Michael Schumacher has just got to get there. He goes into the lead. It's not the way you like to win a race, honestly, but uh, then sometimes uh, it happens. I mean, in racing it has happened to me uh, and it uh, has happened now to Mika. So that's the way it goes sometimes. Raikkonen's gone a long way on these tyres. Yeah, and Fissi Keller's tyres have done a fair bit of work as well. Here we go, Fissi Keller takes the lead. What a move. What happened to Raikkonen? He just got terminal understeer. Fissi Keller leads the Grand Prix. Big shunt for Mark Webber. And we've got, a, we've got another car Alonso, off. Race, race stopped. Red flag, race has stopped. On lap 54, Fisichella was leading the race, therefore he was declared the winner and finally got his hands on the winner's trophy. David Hill, there he is. Oh no, he's cruising, Murray. He's absolutely cruising. Here there comes he Villeneuve. Villeneuve's going to take the lead. Villeneuve is going to win the Hungarian Grand Prix. Oh, David, the whole of the world's hard work out. Villeneuve takes it across. I'm crestfallen. I'm sure the whole team is. That would have been one of the all-time great wins in Formula One. Well, I was uh, getting to the point when I thought where I could uh, count on you know, winning the race, but uh, whenever you think things like that, something crops up.